Digital Nature Trail, Summer, Observation Post 3. Bramble grows in woodland next to the post, but notice how it produces fewer flowers in the shade than in sunny areas. Look for the crack willow tree opposite the fence picnic area. The crack willow is one of our largest native willow trees. In summer, the stems are flexible and can be used to make baskets. Its name comes from the crack sound made when some branches and twigs become brittle and fall in winter. These twigs can easily take root. When a tree drops its leaves in winter, it is said to be deciduous. The leaves are food for many insects, such as the green caterpillar of the hide hawk moth. The yew tree is opposite the post is evergreen. This means that the leaves stay green but drop all year, not just in winter. Look at the end of the shoots for the new spring shoots. These are a lighter colour than last year's growth. Most of the yew tree is poisonous to animals. Look for the butcher's broom in the shrub on the opposite side of the path. This is also evergreen. Berries swell through the summer, turning red in autumn. Edible and not edible. Look for horseradish by the litter bin. The roots are grated and used to make a hot horseradish sauce. On the other side of the path, beyond the picnic area, is a line of spindle trees. The remains of their greenish white flowers can still be seen in early June. They are pollinated by flies. Developing fruit are green at first, then turn pink in autumn when the trees look their best. Bears eat the orange seeds, which are poisonous to humans. Next is observation post 4. Turn left and follow the concrete path to post 4. This path originates from World War II when it led to the barracks of the Home Guard.